uh, Honorable Minister of State, Mr. Kulaste, Mr. Sajjan Jindal, <coughs> Mr. Omne, Mr. Rath, Mr. Naveen Jindal, Mr. Bhaskar Chatterjee, all the dignitaries, all my colleagues from the steel industry. A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I run the risk of being repetitive. In fact, I'm sure that I'm going to be re repetitive. So one way to end it, the, the speech is to say just ditto. But nevertheless, I want to just emphasize on few things. Uh, you must be aware that this uh, uh, Tata Steel BSL, which is probably the first largest steel plant which was acquired by the new formulated policy of Government of India, which was IBC, Insolvency in uh, Bankruptcy Code. And uh, this unit came to Tata Steel on 18th of May 2018, now almost one and a half years. Uh, it's a very good unit. It has got a good list of marquee customers, and it's on its path to the full capacity, which is about 5.4 million ton. Uh, this year, we would be crossing more than 4.7, 4.8 million ton. And uh, it's a very good asset, and it's the fifth largest in the country today. So this unit, through this IBC process, you will see that many of the capacities will get unleashed, like whether it is our company, whether it is uh, SR Steel, which you see, you see Monet, you see Electro Steel. So I uh, would like to thank the government of India that uh, how these such schemes can really help providing impetus to the steel industry. Uh, now coming back to some of the mega trends which are, uh, which are going to, which the steel industry will face. So we were, we were discussing all of them, but uh, I would like to emphasize on two and three. One is the, the safety part of it. Now, safety is becoming a big concern for the steel plants. You must understand that steel plants have hot metal, steel plants have gases and hence inherently they have a larger kind of risk in terms of safety and it's very important that we take that as one of the top most priority to all of us. Uh, there's a lot of collaboration which can be done. In fact, uh, I was just telling Mr. Jindal that uh, Mr. Naveen Jindal's factory, which is very close to our factory, there's a lot of collaboration which we do in this area. We learn from what all incidents happen. We also try to look to talk to the technologists to find ways and means to make the things safer. So this is one area which we need to concentrate. In fact, I would like to thank Ministry of Steel because they have also launched one scheme where they are now asking all the steel plants to participate and make steel making a more safer um, uh, industry. The second one is environment. Now in environment, obviously you have uh, the tested ways of handling uh, environment, which is uh, having better maintained mills, having back filters, de-dusting systems, blah, blah, blah. Then you have standard items like using more of electric arc furnaces where you use scrap and the, the, the carbon footprint is much lower. But I think here probably technology has to play a role in the way the new technologies are emerging. What we see is that whether it's hydrogen, whether it's Mr. Naveen Jindal talked about gasification, I think these are some of the things which have to come as quickly as possible to the industry because uh, coke continues to be the biggest contributor of carbon footprint and that is causing concern among the society. And today's society participates very actively with the industry, so I think uh, we need to take up these matters uh, very consciously with a with lot of alacrity. The last point which I would like to make is that the industry also need to prepare itself to the new emerging trends which we are seeing, whether it is shared economy, whether it is connected world, whether you see disruptions which will happen in, in the way that the buildings are being constructed or you're already seeing some disruption in the automotive, and all of them would require steel, but probably would require steel which is of a different kind. And that is one area which as an industry, I think we need to look at, continuously monitor them, because sometimes what we are finding is that these trends come to us faster than what we expect. We normally think that big technological changes happen in 10, 15, 20 years, but the way some of the technologies are coming, they are coming so fast. So I think that is one area which as an industry, uh, we need to <coughs> prepare ourselves for. So with these, Thoughts, uh, thanks a lot once again, uh, ISA, to have invited us and uh, 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 have a good session in the next two days. Thank you.